this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you an easy five petal flower arrangement to paint. I'm going to be using this large filbert brush. It's a number one Royal Aqualon. And then I'm going to be using a number 12 Royal Aqualon, all filbert brushes, and a number 10 Royal Aqualon brush. Also, in addition to that, I am going to be using, sorry, I thought I had it right here. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to be using a number 10 flat brush. It's a plaid one stroke brush. And then my dotting stylus. All right, color. There's a paint I'm using. I'm going to be mixing Engine Red along with Magenta and then using Magenta by itself. I'm going to be using Peridot and Thicket. And finally, School Bus Yellow. Again, this is a very simple design that I'm going to be painting for you. And we are going to go ahead and get started. All right, and I'm doing it on my glass base, candle holder, candy holder, whatever you want to use it for. I use these, wash them off, and then reuse them for my videos. Just so you know, it's not something I'm actually selling. I'm just showing you the painted designs. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the smaller, number 10, filbert brush and do just some smaller versions of this flower. Basically I'm just pressing and then pulling up, turning the brush also, and then just pressing, pulling, pressing and pulling. Okay, I'm going to do a few of these right at the top. Pulling, pressing, pulling, Pressing, pulling, pressing, pulling. And I'm going to throw in one of the ones with the red in it. It's the magenta and the red mixed together. Throw that in. Very easy, as you can see. You just Push your petals down and, and pull it. All right, then I'm going to come down here, do a few down towards the bottom in preparation for the other ones to be painted in because I'm going to do some different sizes. Now with this type of painting, I am at, the, at this point just single coating and you know, loading the brush with just a single coat of paint and I can go over it if I want, make it more opaque. But for right now I'm just doing the single coats as we're talking a little bit here as we go. Now I might bring another one over here. Hopefully you can see that. Like I said, you can do a single coat. Go back over it if you wish. Or if you want to dip your brush into a little bit of the white, come over here and add it to it. That will give it a sense of being more opaque if you like that. Then you can also come back over it, add some more red into it if you don't like it with as much white. I'm just trying to show you a few different things that you can do. And on these this time I have not pre-coated them with anything. Last week I was doing them and, and touching them with 
um, some of the flow medium so like this when you're doing these petals too you can give them some more space you don't have to have them right up on top of each other like that's what I'm doing which is fine And you can turn your piece too. If it's easier for you to turn as you're painting, that's fine too. Get more paint on that side of the brush. There we go. Then I think on the, yeah, because I don't want these to all be the same. So on one of these, I'm going to go back in and put some light into it. So I do want there to be a variation in the colors throughout the painting. I'm not as concerned about it being opaque when it's an item that's not going to be used like a drinking glass would be. It doesn't, you know, concern me quite so much. I keep floating off the screen here. I'm sorry about that. But again, you can, you know, wait, give it a little bit of drying time, or hit it with a hair dryer if you want. To be able to go over and coat it at the same time that you're painting it. The only problem I have with if you wait is you know often you've moved on to other colors. If you're mixing colors, you need to, to worry about whether or not you can come up with the same colors. So that's a reason why I would I would opt to give it some drying time and go over it. Now, like on this one, I may not go over the whole thing because part of it's covered up anyway, so I'm just going to leave it, leave it alone. But I think I'm going to hit these again, and it's okay if your flowers are not layered the same way they were when you initially painted the leaves or the petals. I should say, not leaves. All right, so those are good for now. I am going to move on to my larger, well, you know what, I'm going to do a medium one. So I forget that, I'm going to go on with the, to the medium size brush, which is, if I have it upside down here, it's a 12. Alright, so on this one I'm going to do a little bit bigger petal. And you know, as you're painting, unless you really are following a design, like you've got it taped to the inside of your glass, so your design is going to be exactly the same. You know, as you go, things the design may look a little bit different when you're finished. That's okay. So I'm going to put, while I've got this brush out, I'm just going to randomly place because I want them to be kind of spread out a little bit. I don't want all the same size. The one in the middle here. And I can use different colors too. But I am overlapping, so that's fine. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll do one more. Well, I don't do too many. because I do want to put some bigger ones in. So on this one, maybe this one, I'll go over. I'm going to go over it with some of the red. So it'll be a little bit darker, maybe. And that kind of pulled some of the paint off when I did that one. So we'll do this just very lightly and turn it. So I, part of it I'm not really liking too much is the paint. A lot of paint on my brush though. 
Okay, so here we go with that. Here we go with this one. And... And if you feel, you know, because I do want it to be a little bit more opaque, I'm going to throw some light into this. Just a tad. I'm going to give it just a touch of drying time. Well, yeah, these, because the other petals aren't too bad. Because I do want to come back over it with some, some red. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to this one. Add some light into it. could double load your brush if you wanted to. I just, on this, just want to layer it. And leave it like that. And I could come back over it again with some pink if I wanted. Maybe even just to fill in some of the areas where uh, the brush picked up the paint when I'm turning it. So they don't all have to look the same. I don't want the petals to all be the same. Now this one over here that I painted originally, I just stuck it in white again. Dagnab it. I don't really want it to have the white in it. I'm going to come over it with, it's kind of a mixture of the, the white and the pink. Which is pretty. But they're not all supposed to be the same. I mean, I trying to do this with a variation in the colors so they're not you know all red or all pink petals okay so I have that now I'm going to pick up my bigger brush my big one and put in I'm going to go with the I feel like I have a lot of red but going to go with the Big one first in the center here, and then just pull it, just like you do with the smaller ones. I think I need to add some more red here. This one's not doing well. Let me put some more paint on my plate. I guess that it's just a a cute little design. Very simple. I'm sorry about the noise. My furnace is starting up. So I apologize, but I know sometimes it can make it hard to hear me. But unfortunately, I do my videos in my basement where my furnace is. Alright, so I'm just mixing some of the magenta and some of the engine red again. I can get better, better coating on this. Okay, so I'm just pushing and pulling, pushing down and pulling. I'm doing the same over here, just very lightly. Very lightly. I'll come back over it. sure why my brush is picking up this paint so easily, but it is for some reason. So we'll just go like that, pull it in. You know what I could do? Let me see how this works by doing it on the other side. Just pull it in. I just want to make sure it's covered. That's the big deal. And I'll go over it with that one and it'll be all uncovered. Okay. Sorry, there's ways of fixing it. I'm going to pull this up here. And then pull this one. Make it a little bit bigger. And pull it over too. Like I guess you just got to kind of play with it if, if the paint is moving. Too much, 
you know, just got to fill it in. Not a big deal. Just got to learn how to how to manage that. And then I'm going to come out. Let's see here. Let's put some light in this one. And I'm going to come up here and do one. And just do it. And just keep turning it. So that's why I say when you're doing these, you just never know what you're going to be overlapping with. And so the concern over the uh, the paint being not, not opaque enough, you might be layering to where it doesn't really matter. See, they're just really, really simple little petals. Now on this one, I just want to tap it in a little bit because I want it to just go into the center. Just like that. Alright. And then let's see, let's put I'm not gonna do too many more of the flowers because I think you get the gist on this of the design pretty much. I might put a little bit more pink. Yeah, you just kind of sit back and look at it and say, hey, where do I need to fill in a little bit? And I think over here would be a good place what I've got on here. I'll just stick it in there. Good coverage. Do you have some of that white in there? I have something in my brush or something here. Just making a little point. Well, like I said, you get the gist. It's pretty easy. Alright, so let's go to the centers. Now, I might grab another tool. Because I'm thinking for some of these bigger flowers, and this would be another, it's like a clay ball tool making item, but I don't really make clay balls, so I'm not going to use this to dip into the middle. Very simple little centers, not meant to be anything more than just a dot. So, and actually you can really use it on all of them instead of using the other tool I was talking about. You know, your pressure is what actually determines how big your dot is anyways. So, and on these flowers, I really want it to be something that can be seen. If you feel like your paint is too wet and you need to hit it with a, a drying tool, you can do that, then come back and put the centers in. If you're working wet on wet, you know, sometimes you can end up pulling in some of the paint from the flower petals into your center. You can always go back in and touch them up if you need to and if you feel the need to do that. But again, very easy. Uh, very easy. Now, for the greenery, it's really just it's supposed to be like these flowers are just kind of in grass you know, popping up. Not anything real crazy. I'm using the Thicket and the Peridot and we'll be touching a little bit into my Wicker White. I don't know that I showed you Wicker White. I, I am actually using Wicker White too now that I'm saying that. I'm just going to come in here, pull up what looks like grass, vines, stems, whatever you want it to be. Pull them up through, through here. And you can put, you know, more than one blade of grass on your item. You can have, you know, some tall ones, some thick ones, some thin ones, some curvy ones. Just however you want it to be, just do it. And you can also use a liner tool if you don't want to use um, the flat brush, the chisel edge of the flat brush. You can use a, a liner, you know, that's fine too. 
or you can use both. And I'm just going to kind of go in here, tap some in so it looks like they're all connected somehow to this. You know, you're showing some, and I'm not doing petals. I'm not doing any kind of leaf petals at all, which is amazing for me because we all know how much. If you follow my videos, you know how much I really like leaves. They're like my favorite thing to paint. You could also, too, if you want, add in some brown. And if you wanted to do it like there's branches of some sort. And just keep pulling up the grass or you know, the, the vines, the, or not vines, but the stems that they're growing from. And just have fun with it. That's the main thing is have fun. You don't have to be too serious with this unless you really want to be. But you can. You know, you can be serious if you want. Or you can have fun with it. And that's what I, I choose to do. Is just keep playing with it until I get it the way I want it. Yeah, I mean, it definitely doesn't have to be so serious. You know, you can have them come over some of your flowers. Because like I said, in nature, it's not going to all be perfect. You're going to have the wind blowing, you're going to have, you know, just the amount of flowers kind of over, overseeing each other and overpowering or whatnot. Yep, see it's just very easy, light strokes. Again, if you're painting on glass, make sure that you Clean it, and you can rub it with some uh, rubbing alcohol to get the grease and grime off of your item. That's the important thing so that your paint adheres to it. You can wash it with soap and water, and then do the rubbing alcohol. At least clean it. I mean, if you're going to do anything, at least take the time to clean it because you want it to be clean so it'll, the paint will adhere and not come off because you didn't clean it properly. If something like this you really don't have to bake because you're not you're not drinking from it, you can bake it. Make sure that you don't lay it on the paint but you can either tip it upside down or set it on the base and then um, preheat the oven with the item in the oven you always want to put it in a cold oven. Once you get your oven preheated, add the bake time to that. But you want to do the bake time plus the preheat time. When the item's finished, give the, the oven time to cool. Pull the item out after it's completely uh, cold. You don't want any quick changes in the temperature. That's what will cause it to break. If you want to coat it with something, I really like the dishwasher. That's the exterior. Got all kinds of different Mod Podges, but I really like the dishwasher safe gloss. And you just you, you coat the you coat the design as much as possible, not the other part of the gloss. I mean you can't, but you might see streaks on that if you do. So, you know, just keep that in mind. All right, another simple project for you to do, something pretty. If I were painting this to have it in my house or to give it away as a gift, I would do the design all the way around. If you're putting a candle on it, that would give a really pretty uh, reflection if you have the design going around the glass. All right, we're finished for now. If you like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell. Share this video with all your friends and family. It's real easy. Just hit the button underneath the video 
It'll help you share it on your social network with all your family and friends. Alright, until the next one, you have a good one.